okay my air conditioner is licking water and my wall is totally ruined because of it it's dripping water all over my furniture here so like i've put this stuff to collect the dripping water so that it does not damage my furniture so i'm thinking of like uh, making a device to collect the water here and it's gonna go through another pipe which i am gonna put on the side of this furniture it's gonna go through a, a bottle which i'm gonna keep it here so here are the two liters of two coca-cola bottles which i'm gonna use to collect the dripping water from the air conditioner and i'm gonna use this bottle which i'm gonna keep on the side and i'm gonna keep it upside down so that the water gets collected at the bottom and goes through another pipe <laughs> It turns out it is smaller than I expected. <laughs> so what I plan to do right now is I'm going to use the remaining parts of the bottle and put them at each side of the uh, collecting water bucket so that it covers a large area uh, to collect the uh, dripping water. So I'm gonna make a hole through this gap so that water can go through it uh, to the pumper from which it's gonna drain out. This is what I came up with and this is what it looks like after like you know connecting the cap to the bottle. The other end of the pipe will connect to this pumper. You can clearly see the inner arrow, I mean the arrow pointing inwards. The other arrow which is pointing outwards is the drainage where the water will pump out to my balcony. This is the inner mechanism of my pumper. Uh, you can clearly see the inside and there is a voltage booster module at the back which I'm going to use to increase the voltage uh, to increase the speed of my pumper. I have to turn this tiny screw clockwise so that it increases the voltage i'm using a power bank um which like the output is 5 volt but with the help of this module i can increase it uh, over 20 volts which will you know uh, increase the uh, speed of the pumper i'm turning it clockwise till it reaches its maximum speed Okay, I'm going to use this power bank. As you can see, it's rated 5 volts output. Uh, I'm going to use water, uh, which I'm going to pour uh, into the water collecting bucket because dripping water is going to take a lot of time. Now, I'm going to increase the voltage of the pumper, basically increasing the speed, and then I'm going to pour the water. And let's see what happens. Okay, it turns out my pumper is pumping really slow because the pressure is high and my power bank output is very low, so... 
Okay, I'm thinking of like changing my power source now. As you can see, it's not even spinning properly. So I'm gonna change my power supply. Uh, I'm not gonna use the power bank anymore. Uh, I'm pouring the water again to check whether it works this time or not. Um, I'm not gonna use the power bank now. Uh, as you can see, the, even my power bank is show, you know, indicating that it can uh, supply the power. Pressure is high. Okay, so I'm gonna use a different power supply. Like it's a it's a rated output of 12 volt, 10 amps, and you can see the speed of the pump. It's really fast. It's not even letting my green bottle to fill up. Look at the speed of the water flow. It's super fast. I'm gonna turn it off now and let the green bottle to fill up a bit. Then I'm gonna turn it on again. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on now. Wait. Okay. Look at the speed it's pumping. Like in a mechanism. It's cool. Boom! Good job, Robin.